going to solve another problem related to systems of nonlinear equations. The problem is, from a, from a circular piece of metal sheet with diameter 10 cm, a rectangular piece of, with perimeter 28 cm is to be cut. Find the dimensions of the rectangular sheet. Okay, kwento ko lang yung background. Ha? You can find the problem on page 77 of your learner's material. It's at work homework 1.6.4. Yung sagot dun sa learner's material nyo is 6 by 8. Pero nung sinosolve ko siya using the original given dun sa problem, hindi lalabas yung 6 by 8. So, feeling ko may mali dun sa... Pwede yung kasi yung sagot yung may mali or yung tanong yung may mali. Then I found that... Uh, 20 centimeters kasi nakalagay dun sa problem na supposedly 10 centimeters. Okay? So, hopefully, mamaya pag sinagutan natin, we will be, uh, we will get 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters. So, ito yung, ito yung target natin mamaya. Okay? So, let's visualize first the problem. Meron tayong circular piece of metal sheet. So, hopefully, makadrawing ako ng circle dito. Sorry. Mmm. Mmm. Sige na nga. Okay. Oops. Okay, I think this will work. Yeah. Okay. So we have a, a metal sheet that is, uh, that has a diameter of 10 centimeters. And then, um, we're going to cut. So let's have here, so let's center it over here. And then, the diameter is 10 centimeters. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut a rectangular piece. So let me draw a rectangular piece over here. And so, magtatanggal tayo ng rectangular piece. Ikakat natin yung mga edges nitong circle para makaran tayo ng rectangular piece. Na ang perimeter is 28 centimeters. Okay, so um, for this, let y, the question is find the dimension of the rectangular sheet. Okay. Okay, so first, let y uh, be the length of the re rectangular sheet be the length and um, let x be the and x be the uh, width you can use any letter ha pwede kayong mag w at l okay so this will be your uh, length and this will be your width oh pagbalik tara natin para ano sanay tayo na kasi ni x at y eh sige si x na lang tong pahiga sige let, let's put x over here so, ito na lang yung x. So, ito na lang yung y. So, this is x yung length and then y yung width. And then, the perimeter is equal to twice the length plus the width. Yung sum nitong lahat. Diba? This is y also and this is x. So, yung sum nung mga yon is 28. So, the perimeter 28 is equal to twice the length, is which is x. We have 2x plus twice the width, which is... Um, y. And then, if you'll notice, pag, ni, ni, pag inilagay natin tong diameter na to dun sa diagonal nung uh, nitong rectangle. So, pag pinihit natin, okay, pipihit natin tong uh, diameter. Gagawin natin siyang diagonal. Ayan. And, obviously, the diameter is equal to the diagonal of the rectangular sheet. And the rectangular sheet forms a 90 degree. Uh, lahat ng angles ang sa rectangle. So, 90 degrees lahat ng angle nun. So, makakabuo tayo ng right triangle over here. At kung may right triangle tayo, yeah, we can use the Pythagorean theorem. So, we have x squared. We have x squared plus we have y squared is equal to the square of this. And this is equivalent to the diameter of the circle, which is 10. So we have 10 squared. Okay? And then, um, we're going to solve this. Ito na yun. Ito na yung system, system natin. And this is a line and a circle. A circle with radius 10 and then a line. 
So, anong ina-expect natin kung may line at may circle? Pwedeng wala. Tama? Pwedeng kasi yung circle mo pag ganyan, tapos may line ka. So, walang intersection. Pwedeng isa. Kapag nakatangent, sorry, nakatangent lang. Yan, nakatangent lang. And then, pwede rin naman na dalawa kapag na-intersect ng line yung, yung circle mo. And then, sige, let's solve. Um, we can divide the first equation by 2. And it will become, divide this by 2 will become 14. Become 14 equals x plus y. And then, we can solve for y. And we can trans, uh, transfer x to the other side. We have 14 minus x is equal to y. So, we have a value of, of y here, which is 14 minus x. Uh, pwede natin itong i-substitute dito sa second equation para magkaroon tayo ng equation na puro y lang. So, let's substitute this dito sa y na to. So, from the second equation, we have x squared plus... So, we'll replace this by 14 minus x. 14 minus x squared is equal to 10 squared. And um, let's solve this. We have x squared plus, this is 14 squared, which is 196. Tama ba? 196 um, minus 28x plus x squared is equal to 100. And then, let me change the color. And then this will become 2x squared, 2x squared minus 28x, and then 100, uh, 196 minus 100, that will become a uh, positive 96 plus 96 is equal to 0. And then, if you'll notice, you can divide everything by 2. So we'll have a x squared minus 14x plus 96 divided by 2 is 48 48 equals 0 Yeah, this is factorable and um, factor ng 48 pag pinag plus is 14 is we have negative 8 and we have x minus 8 and x minus 6 which is equal to 0 yes and then we can apply the zero product property so we have x minus 8 is equal to 0 or, x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, ibig sabihin, x is equal to 8, or, x is equal to 6. We don't have a value for y. So, gamitin na lang natin ito. Actually, pwede naman ito yung gamitin nyo, pero ito, mas simplified form na. So, we have 14 equals x plus y. So, we have 14 equals x plus y using the first equation. Let's try x. If x is 8, 14 is equal to 8 plus y. Therefore, y is equal to 6. Now, if we use 6, obviously, 8 yung makukuha natin, no? So, if we use 6, so we have 14 is equal to 6 plus y, and, uh, and therefore, y is equal to 8. So, x is equal to 8. So, yung solutions natin ay um, 8, 6, or... Okay, we were able to get 8, 6, or 6, 8. Ibig sabihin lang nito, dalawa yung points na tinamaan ng line natin dun sa circle. So, let's use GeoGebra to verify our solution. So, I'm going to plot... I'm going to type key in the equation. So, we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 100. So, here is your circle. And then, uh, I'm going to key in the line, the equation of the line. We have x plus y is equal to 14. Yan. Titignan mo, parang impossible natin. Pag tayo lang nag-sketch ito by hand, parang napaka-impossible makita yung 6, 8, at 8, 6. But if we're going to zoom in, makita mo na there's a gap so, ibig sabihin, dalawang beses, tinama, hindi siya nakapa, yung line natin hindi nakapatong. So, we're going to look using the intersect tool of GeoGebra. We're going to click on the circle and then click on the line. And there you go. The points of intersections are 6, 8, and 8, 6. 
So therefore, the final answer for our problem is that the dimensions of the rectangular sheet is indeed 8 centimeters by 6 centimeters.